Well, scholarships are very helpful when it comes to getting through your higher education, and Mercy Health St. Rita's wants to help out. Joining us today to tell us more, we've got Beth Keen. She's the Director of Government and Community Affairs at Mercy Health St. Rita's. So thanks for joining us today, Beth. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Let's talk about this St. Rita's Scholarship Program. What's it all about? Yeah. So we all know that there are some of the best and brightest students that live in our region. Um, and so our goal is to help those students choose healthcare careers, first of all, help them get off to school, be successful in college, but kind of stay connected to them. So they'll come back to us when they graduate and serve our community and help their friends and neighbors from a healthcare setting. So has this been successful? Have you uh, given scholarships out and they, and they do come back and help out at the hospital? They do. Um, so to start, we give about twelve fifteen hundred dollars scholarships to students going into healthcare careers. And in addition to becoming a scholarship winner, we also stay in touch with everybody. Now, the last couple of years has been a little bit more difficult, but leading up until then, we would have luncheons and they'd be invited back for education sessions and get to know some of the doctors and the nurses and the leadership so that when they graduate, we're kind of their first call. So this is our sixth year in the program. And last year, um, we actually heard from our first student who was heading off to medical school. So we were really excited to hear that. Now, certainly many others in the program have gone on to be nurses and radiologists, things that don't require the medical schooling. But it was neat to have one of those first doctors come back and he actually has hopped on to an extended scholarship for us for medical school. So it's working, it's doing its job and we're excited for it. Now, the healthcare field, we know how stressed you've been and, you know, through the pandemic, how important you all are. So is that going to be easier or harder to recruit kids to get into the healthcare field to, you know, to try to get, even win a scholarship? Well, I first would say to anyone who's considering the healthcare field, right now you're hearing an awful lot about it. But it's also the most rewarding time to work in healthcare. It's been long, it's been stressful, but if your heart is in it, there's no greater time to join the to join in the ranks and really serve our community the way that you want to do that. So we're talking to students and being realistic about what that might look like. But again, if you're going into it to be a doctor and save lives, this is the time to do it. And so in some ways, it's almost more inspiring right now than ever before. Okay, so how do they apply then? How do they go through the program to get a scholarship? So we actually have opened the scholarship program up to the 10 counties surrounding our area. And we've emailed out the application to all of the guidance counselors in those 10 counties. So any student who's interested, if they haven't already been nudged by their guidance counselor, can reach out to them to get a copy of the application. The application, of course, looks for GPA and ACT and their, um, the different classes that they took along the way. But we are also asking students to write us an essay about why this is what they are meant to do. Because again, at the end of the day, this isn't a job you can just clock in and clock out. This is something that your heart has to be in. And we wanna see that from students as they move forward. The applications are due back to me by February 18th. And then we'll make our decisions fairly short, um, short time after that. So we're thinking around March 1st, we should have some of those decisions. When it's all said and done, we'll have a banquet to recognize everybody and there are some representatives from their school. And we'll start the process and get them on their way um, to becoming great healthcare leaders. Wow, sounds like a great program. So hopefully uh, area students do take advantage of it and uh, at least apply for the scholarship. Absolutely. We're looking forward to meeting a lot of new young people in our region. All right. Thank you very much, Beth, for joining us today. Yeah. Have a great one. You too. All right, don't go away. New Tradition continues in a moment.